I am on a mission to make $10,000 in fun runs as a non-professional athlete in the series that I am calling Can a non-professional athlete make $10,000 in prize money in one calendar year? Or Cam Pam Double T Dipmiosi for short. This is so stupid. I know it's ridiculous, just, just roll with it. In this video, I race a half marathon in the Utah Valley half marathon, it's in my backyard, finishes in Provo, with the opportunity to make several hundred dollars. Confidence is running high after the first episode where I was able to make over $1,000 at the Bloomsday 12K in Spokane, Washington. If you missed that video, click in the link down in the, the description. Goodness, in the, dis the dis description. Without further ado, let's dive into this Utah Valley half marathon. Just got my bib. We are headed out. So I just got out of the expo with my bib number. Tomorrow's race has some great potential actually. The winner gets 500 bucks and if I can get under 66 minutes, it's an additional 250 for a total of 600 possible, sorry, that's bad math. 750 possible dollars I can get from tomorrow's race. Second place would still give me 600. It's gonna make great progress on our challenge. So the main concern for tomorrow is making sure I get under that hour and six minute mark to get that bonus 250 bucks. Um, to get under 66, you have to average about 503 per mile. So as long as I accomplish that tomorrow, it will be a win. I'm gonna make some good cash. So it's a good opportunity just to, to jump in, remind myself what a half marathon feels like, but really the race I'm targeting is this half marathon in Duluth, Minnesota in three weeks from tomorrow. I gotta green that, I gotta drive. It's currently 5.15 a.m. Hitting the warm up before this half marathon. Utah Valley down into Provo. And lakes feel pretty good. I don't know the competition yet, but I think chances are good. Come out with a nice podium finish. We'll have to see who shows up. I pooped twice before 4 a.m. today. That's gotta be a new record. I don't have any real documentation of the first half of the race, so I'm stealing some footage from when I ran this race in 2021. The Utah Valley Marathon course is actually really pretty and I love the canyon running, so it'll be good to showcase it a little bit here. Anyway, it starts right in the middle of the highway coming down the canyon down into Provo. The first half mile of the race or so, I was running pretty slow at about 515 pace with a group of 10 or 20 people. Then all at once I picked it up right down to 450 pace per mile and only one other person, Kevin Kirk, went with me. With a couple other names like Jaden AC and Dalton Mortensen chasing from behind. What started as just two people going after it turned into quite the duel. I'll be honest, I didn't feel great for the first couple of miles. I kind of had to warm into it and I felt much better once I got to about mile three. Overall, the course drops about 750 feet from start to finish and at this mile, it really starts to show. I tried to pull away from Kevin multiple times, but he just would not let go of me and kept coming back up on my shoulder. And as we finally approached the halfway mark, he was was neck and neck with me and he even made a little surge in front of me at this point. Now in my head I had felt pretty good for the previous few miles but I was genuinely concerned that he was feeling better than me and that this was going to be a seriously tough race. Until right about at mile seven, I heard Kevin make a little gag like he had been working really hard. And so naturally I took advantage and put in a pretty hard surge for the next mile. And this was surprisingly successful. I was able to split sub 450 and to make the separation, which allowed me to just cruise it in the last five miles all by my lonesome for the win by nearly a minute. It's really not every day that I get to win a race, so this was a ton of fun. And this race is really well run. I can definitely see myself coming back to run it again in the future. <laughs> All right, well, just finished the race about a half hour ago. Uh, mission accomplished. Got my half marathon out of the way. Reminding myself what it feels like. Uh, I felt really good, honestly. My legs still feel amazingly good after uh, the downhill. I was able to pull away with the win, so that's gonna do wonders for this progress. You excited to ring the gong? This performance was a PR, so I had to follow the tradition and ring the PR gong. This morning we had Michael Otteson finish first with a 103.49. Kevin Kirk came in second with a 104.35. Dalton Mortensen, 104.47. Jaden AC 105 and Justin Bidey 107. <sighs> so there you go. 
I was able to pull off the win. Men's champion. You're looking at him, okay? The, the defending champion. That is $500 for the win. And I even was gifted a second check. That's right, two checks because I was able to get that time bonus going under 66. That's the first time I've officially broken a 64 minutes and a half marathon. I've been looking forward to this since the last videos. I love I love the thermometer. It's just it's just so fun. $1,050 from Bloomsday plus 750 total dollars from the Utah Valley Half Marathon. That is $1,800. That looks pretty good. $1,800, my people. Look at that. That is. We are making some serious progress. I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, when I set the mark at $10,000, I was very intimidated. I, I'm still doubting, but I, it's very possible, okay? I am on a great pace. We're gonna have to have some good races in the future in order to hit that 10K. Next on my schedule, I'm traveling to Duluth, Minnesota, where I have the opportunity to try and run a real fast, flat half marathon. It's gonna be tough to crack that top 10. So there's potential for lots of money if I finish on the podium. If I don't have a good day, I might make make nothing. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be updated every time I am doing another race where I'm going to progress towards that $10,000. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.